That was my first lie. <laughs> but I can tell you this with absolute truth and certainty. He is risen. He is risen. Amen. Over oh, risen, resurrected one, come into our midst. Reveal yourself now through word and sacrament. Grant Lord, that if this is the first time that anyone has had a chance to hear the good news of the resurrection, that it would be applied to hearts and minds. Lord, help us to hear those wonderful words of your resurrection one. In the name of Christ, our Savior. Amen. Something to crow about. We began Lent with ashes, and we began Holy Week with ashes as well. Sadly, those from the devastating fire that ravaged the medieval cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris. Flames lapped and eventually engulfed and consumed the historic spire until it fell into the rubble of the nave below. How many of you remember that image? Did you have a chance to see that? Yeah. So powerful. And perched atop of the spire. What else? A copper rooster. Which according to legend, happens to contain several relics, including a thorn from the crown of thorns. The sculpture of the bird which is an unofficial symbol of France. The next day was discovered by a restorer picking through the rubble, the rubble left when the spire on which it sat toppled down into the height <coughs> during the inferno that ravaged Notre Dame. The rooster may be an unofficial symbol of France. But I happen to think there's something much more to it. I know you've heard of symbols such as butterflies for resurrection. But I would propose a different unofficial symbol, the rooster. Common, mundane, considerably less regal than an eagle, considerably less musical than many other birds, and definitely not as beautiful as our chimes and our trumpet playing this morning, wouldn't you agree? <clears throat> not quite so beautiful, but that of a screeching rooster. We hear its call when Peter denies Jesus three times with cussing, that he even knew Jesus. Here the rooster represents humankind, utter failure to even acknowledge God or God's existence. How could Peter be so wishy-washy? Peter, the knife-wielding, ear-slicing, big-mouth spokesman for the disciples, pledging his fidelity one moment, then flunking the final exam. <clears throat> Simply asked by a young lady if he was a follower of Jesus. And he chokes. And then again, he chokes, and again, he chokes. Before he disappears into the inky night of trial, the rooster's crow, as prophesied, echoing in his ears. Failure, regret. Oh, to have just another chance to get it right. Have you ever been there? How do you live with yourself from that time on? I mean, the betrayal. If only there was a way to make it right. This time to be bold, to own up, to own it. His best friend is 
is crucified. And where is Peter? <coughs> he's not even a rooster. He's a chicken. <laughs> he and everyone else except for John the Beloved, they're all running low. A day passes. And he can't believe his actions. Another day, and then he justifies his sin. Have you ever noticed how we do that? Another day, and each one seems even longer than the first. It seems so long, but he can't even go to the tomb, much less stand to tell others about his failure. How the master had known all along. The rough, tough fisherman <laughs> failed again, just like he did when he sunk down in the water just like he did with kind of like his overall fishing career, skunked again. Have you ever been there? But there's another rooster. Oh, there's another rooster, all right, and that rooster is yet to crow. Another rooster ready to herald a new day, a resurrection day. <coughs> A redemption day for all of our defeats. The rooster crows a new day. As if a rooster crow could roll away the stone. A rooster's crow. A rooster's crow for all the eggs we've ever laid. The resurrection day rooster. You see, means a fresh start. It means anything is possible. Healing, healing is possible. Forgiveness, forgiveness is possible. Infidelity, to be forgiven for infidelity, even that's possible. You see, all bets are off when that resurrection day rooster takes his place and begins to crow for a new day. Who would have thought that a crowing rooster could sound like reveling. Who would have thought that this scratching, strutting fowl would remind us and the devil himself of his defeat? I bet the devil hates roosters. And it's appropriate to snicker. I'll bet he hates roosters because a rooster means that there's a new day, there's a resurrection day. Death couldn't hold him in the tomb. And the crowing bird has been a reminder ever since that, that new dawn. A new dawn has occurred, a new day of resurrection is here. And it's far better than any kind of news that we could ever get or any kind of political power or person in office, the great news of this resurrection day is here. Yes, sometimes we get down and sometimes we get it wrong. The hard times will occur. But we're reminded in the scripture that tears come for a season. But joy, oh yes, joy cometh in the morning. Amen, church? Amen. God's word reminds us <laughs> that every new morning <laughs> begins with 3,573 promises. Because the word says that he renews his promises every day. And you think, You think that your box gets full every morning. Imagine if all 3,573 promises of God hit your email all at once, every single day, just waiting to be opened, and each one of them heralded like the rooster. That anything is possible to those who love God. You see, the rooster is more than a symbol of resurrection. 
He's a fine feathered little evangelist proclaiming that every day is resurrection day. Amen. Christ is alive and has defeated sin, death, and the power of the devil. Presiding over the cathedral of Notre Dame for hundreds of years, the bird has been a lightning rod, grounding the church over the ages. So too, the good news of resurrection and the hope that it brings is what keeps us grounded and keeps us focused on what is most important and is possible. It's grounded the church over the ages. And so this good news of the resurrection is that which grounds us for the future, regardless of the changing times that we may encounter. The rooster crows and the tomb is empty. Christ is risen. Now, I'm all for steeples with crosses. But this little rooster reminds us of our failure and Christ's victory. Our tragedy, his triumph. Our malady and his remedy the cross, and the empty tomb. And when the evil one parades out our failures, trying to rub our faces in them, and tries to put our failures on display, I have this one word of advice. <coughs> Give him the bird. <laughs> <laughs> You can quote me on that. And you know the one I'm talking about. The resurrection bird. See, resurrection morning really is something to crow about. Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. Amen.